Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I'll be showing you how to downgrade your iPhone 4S, your iPad 2, along with the new iPad from iOS 5.1.1 to iOS 5.0.1. Now this will allow you to do an, a Corona untethered jailbreak for 5.0.1 on the A5 devices. So first off, make sure that your device is on iOS 5.1.1 by going to the general settings and then about and making sure that it is up to date. Next, go ahead and plug in your cable into your device, making sure that the other end is into your computer. Then we'll be going into a DFU mode. To do this, simply press the home and the power button for exactly 10 seconds. Once the slide to power off has disappeared, you can go ahead and let go of the power button, making sure that the home button is selected for an additional five to eight seconds. On your computer, make sure they do have both IPSWs for 5.0.1, and 5.1.1 along with your SHSHs. Make sure that your device is connected and that it is in DFU mode and go to extras, even more, and then restore. In restore, you wanna go ahead and select your IPSW for what device or firmware that you want to be restored to. In this case, it will be iOS 5.0.1. So you can go ahead and search your computer, making sure that it is 5.0.1 in the preview. Once you have that open, go ahead and select open, and then an additional IPSW will be required, and you will uh, browse for your iOS 5.1.1, and then go ahead and open that. At the bottom, you can go ahead and open up your blobs either locally if you did save them on your computer, or remotely if Cydia did save them. In this case, we did save them to our computer, and you can go ahead and open up your SHSHs for iOS 5.0.1. Go ahead and open that. Next, so we'll be fetching the blobs from the server and uploading them. This process will take about five to 10 minutes as it has been sped up significantly. On the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you will see your iPad 2 and the Apple logo will appear along with a status loading bar. This process will take an additional five to 10 minutes, so just be patient. Right now, we'll be restoring the system image and once restored, it will verify it. It will be checking the file system after verifying it and then flashing your device. Once your device has done that, you will see the connect to iTunes. You can ignore this message as it will go away in the next 30 seconds or so. And then it will be creating the file system and then restoring the system image again. Again, the loading bar process will appear and you can simply wait for that to go up to a hundred percent it will verify the restore then and then it'll be going through the file system and boom your restore has been successful and now our device is on iOS 5.0.1 allowing us to do an untethered jailbreak for that device you will see the welcome screen on your device in about a few seconds here. And you can either restore using a backup or restore as a new iPad from iTunes or over the air. If we go ahead here and open up the settings, you will see that our device is on now iOS 5.0.1, allowing us to do an untethered jailbreak for these A5 devices. These do include the iPad 2, the iPhone 4S, and the new iPad when Red Snow has been updated. If you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up with